Hallelujah! Praise be to Jesus! I think they're going to be Christians soon. Hallelujah! Can you put this away? Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. According to Bible, when men and women sin against God and one another, yep. separation takes place. And solution for this separation is Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. With his death and resurrection, yep. Lord Jesus Christ enables us to become right with God. Yes. According to Christian scripture, Jesus is identified as the light of the world. Amen. Christian scripture identifies Jesus as the living water. Yes. Christian scripture identifies Jesus as the one who makes us right with God. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Who brings us back to God with His blood Amen. on the Amen. 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 And Christian scripture also teaches us that Jesus is the bridegroom. Yes. Church has the image of bride. Mm. And Jesus has the image of bridegroom. Yeah. According to Bible, marriage is very, very important thing. Mar yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We look at the Christian scripture. Huh? Thanks, man. Thanks, Christian scripture. Yeah. 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 And then we see <laughs> Christian scripture is very high view yeah. on marriage. Yeah. It is very important. Yeah. And also, Christian scripture as talks about marriage. Mm. It tells us how, in a, in a sense, how marriage will work in yeah. one so, yes, yes, well, sorry, sorry. One Corinthians seven, or I can read it. Yeah. So how is it? No. For the matter is you wrote about it. It is good for men to not marry. But since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife. Christian yeah, yeah, one, one wife, one husband, definitely, yes. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah. The husband should fulfill yes. his marital duties to his wife, yes. and likewise, the wife to her husband. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. The wife's body does not belong to her, yeah. but also to her husband. Yeah. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to His wife. wife. Yes, yes, yes. So there is yes. something special takes place within yes. marriage. That's right. Sex, which is gift from God. And Bible tells us, as you have sex, man and woman, mm. you treat each other's body respectfully. That's right. That's right. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's, there's something going on here where you find um, there's a, a love relationship going on where a man presents himself. He gives himself over to his wife, you know what I'm saying, out of love and vice versa. A woman gives herself over to her husband physically, emotionally, in every way possible. But it's an it's a equal relationship um, and it's united in marriage. And of course, you know, we have, um, sexual intercourse is a part of this. This Bible makes it very clear. Yes. Man and woman are made in God's image. Yes. Image of God they were made. Yeah. Therefore, both of them deserve the respect yeah. and none of them can be treated as an object. No. So no. let's look at the Islamic teaching and then see what does Islam teach us about wife and husband in a sexual sense. Does Islam teach us respect to one 
one another or does Islam teach us something else? So, we would go to the Quran. We go to Surah 2, verse 223. Yep, did you read it? I read it. Yep. Ah, it, okay. Okay. It, oh, we've got some questions. We go on. Go, do you want to read it? I'm gonna read it in English. We're gonna read it in English. But feel free to read it in Arabic and then tell us. I know. I know. Yeah. Do you speak Arabic? If you are not you happy Arabic, with my okay. translation, with this translation, it has been translated by Muslims. Yeah. Then please do give us your translation. Yes. Uh, we're going to read what we have in English. Okay. Yes. So listen, listen. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, brother. Brother, do, brother, don't do that again. Don't do that again. Don't touch so, someone else's stuff. Do not touch somebody's stuff. You'll be in trouble. Brother, do not touch. Yes. Yes. No, no, no theft here. Yes. Don't be aggressive and steal as well. Yes. Yes. Who's wagging whose fingers and whose hand? Let's, let's, let's anyway, anyway, wait, wait, we're going to continue. We're going to continue. Your wives are a place of cultivation. So, move to your place of cultivation. However you wish. And put forth for yourself. And fear Allah. And know that you will meet him. And give him good tidings to believers. Wow. Your wives are tilt for you. Wow. Come to your tilt however you want. Wow. So can you just tell us bro. what this verse tells Hey, bro, bro, are you listening? Explain to us. No, explain to us. No, yeah. oh, you're, not, you're not even listening. You came here. So, so you're not listening? Oh, no, no, no. no. So, okay. You're, you're not listening. You're not listening. Yeah. And then tells the husband, yeah. you can go to your wife yeah. however you want. Imagine that. Wow. Yeah. What does it say about the Quran? Well, what it shows clearly, as we said earlier, is that the Quran or Allah treats women as simply just an object, just something that you can go to whenever you feel like it gratify yourself make yourself feel good about yourself whenever you want whenever you please regardless of whether she um, desires to have sex with you regardless of whether she gives consent what Allah commands men is that they can go to her anytime they want however they please now what type of rights do that does that give to a woman what type of dignity or honor or respect does that give to a woman if at any time whether she feels like it or not she must by the commandment of Allah give her body over to her husband or to a man let's read it Sahih Bukhari yeah. and then see what was the background of the verse Sahih Bukhari 6 60 51 yeah. Jews used to say if one has sexual intercourse with his wife from the bed, then she will deliver a second eye child. So, the verse is revealed. Your wives are tilt unto you. So, go to your tilt when or how you feel. Uh, wow. You can have sex with your wife when and how you feel. It doesn't matter if woman says, I have headache today, or it doesn't matter if woman says, I don't want it today. Mm. Allah says, your wives are tilt for you. Go to your tilt however you want. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's look at next study. Can you read the next one? Babu 2159. Okay. Alright. will give us more background how Muhammad is encouraging men to force themselves into war. Okay, it says here, Ibn Ibas said, Ibn Umar misunderstood the Quranic verse, so come to your tilth. 
I don't know, just pause, just pause it. Yeah. As we were talking about what the Surah 223 teaches, yeah. men can force themselves to their wives without the consent of the wife. Yeah. So let's look at the Dawood 2159 yeah. to see what is the another background of the story, brother. Can you read it for us? Okay, yes. So let's look at that to get right now together. Okay. Oh. And I'm gonna have to go back into it. Just a minute. Or have you got it up there? I'll read it for you. Alright, here we go. So, Iban Abbas said Iban Umar misunderstood the Quranic verse. So come to your tilth however you will. May Allah forgive him. The fact is that the clan of Ansar, who were idolaters, lived in the company of the Jews who were the people of the book. They, the answers, accepted their superiority of themselves in respect of knowledge and they followed most of their actions. The people of the book, i.e. the Jews, used to have intercourse with their women on one side alone, i.e. lying on their back. This was the most concealing of the vagina of women. This clan of Ansar adopted this practice from them. But this tribe, the Quraysh, used to uncover their women intensely and seek pleasure with them from in front and behind and laying from them on their backs. When the Mujahideen, which is the immigrants, came to Medina, a man married a woman of Ansar. He began to do the same kind of actions with her. But she disliked it and said to him, we were approached on one side, lying on our back. Do it so, otherwise keep away from me. This matter of this spread widely and it reached the apostle of Allah. So Allah, the exalted, sent down the Quranic verse, your wives are a tilth to you, so come to your tilth however you will from in front, from behind, or lying on your back. By this, the verse meant the place of delivery of the child, i.e. the vagina. Sunan Abu Dawood 2159. Thank you for reading that. So, <laughs> sorry uh, for the yes, sorry yes. For the Apologies for the... Thank you for... It's a bit graphic sometimes, but you know, we have to get a point through. But go on, yeah. So there are lots of things happening in this house. Yeah. First question is, yes. why Muslims are going around and telling other people, even to the their prophets, how they are having sex with women? Mm. There is gossip going on around, mm. and gossip is, this is the way I have sex with my wife. Yeah. And then conversation goes on, my wife doesn't want to have sex with me in the way I want. Yeah. Muhammad gives awesome 
solution. <laughs> Allah steps in as well for this solution. Yeah. Solution is doesn't matter what woman does say or what woman doesn't want to. Solution is as a husband, you can enter your wife however you want. 2018 language that is wrong and that is called rape within marriage. That's right, that's right. And you know, and, and, and it's, it's, it's a shame because Muslims will come to us and they'll tell us, oh, we honor our women. Women, we place at such a high, uh, we prioritize them. We, we give them such dignity and such respect and we honor women. But then at the same time, in the bed, they will come to women and they'll say, you know what, we can, you can have sex with whichever, in any way you want, however you want, whether the woman feels like it or not, her opinion or her consent is, is, is disregarded as long as you feel to do so. That is completely wrong. So explain to me why it's wrong, sir. Because Islam respects women. And during the lady's menstrual cycle, men are afraid of going near their woman. We respect that. Islam respects women. So did Muhammad respect No, no, wait, 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 sir, 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 sir. Sir, sir, sir let, let him finish. Uh, brother, 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 let, let him make his point. Go, brother, brother, let him make his point. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. So basically, it is refrained for you to go next to your wife during those that time of politics. Respect of the respect of the lady. As, and especially as well, once the lady, once your wife gives birth to a baby, there's 40 days as well that you are refrained from performing any sexual intercourse. In respect for the Okay, we appreciate what you said, yes. and so. Sir, what is your name? Sir, what is your name? But brother, brother, we don't want. Brother, two, two. Sir, 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 sir. Just a minute, just a minute. Brother, brother, we heard what you had to say, sir. We heard what you had to say. Can we respond to that? With regards to genital mutilation. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Khalid, yeah. nice to meet you. So, Good. Yeah. Can I respond what you just said? Which can respond to what you said, yeah? It looks like you are Muslim. Yes, I am. So, I am amazed in 2018, at Speaker's Corner, Muslims go they against their own Quran. You express to us that when a woman has her period, men cannot have sex with her. Not at all. And you express to us that when woman gives a birth, Men cannot have sex with women for 40 days. I can see that is a huge struggle for whole men, guys. It is a very, long time. very big struggle. Yeah. So, the, the, Allah gives the solution of four wives. That's a good point. Yes. Here's the thing. It is not very easy. Wait, wait, let, let finish, let finish. Brother, 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 let okay, her finish. Sir, and then we'll I'm, I am Please responding to Christ. We're responding to what you I'm just sorry. said. Sorry, I am going ignore. to respond to the claims yeah, ignore, you made. Ignore, ignore. Surah 2, yeah. 222 yeah. tells us, yes, not, you cannot have not, sex no. with the woman no. while no. the woman is having Quran her periods. No. But no. we know no. from the Quran. No. So, Baba, are you, are you even trying to listen? Are you trying to listen? You, I, you asked the question, you asked the question, we gave you time to ask your question, we respected that, and now we're responding to you and you're not listening. So listen, listen. So, Surah 2, 222 yeah. confirms that men cannot have a sex with a woman who is having her monthly period. It yeah. does say that. from the Islamic customs, from the life of Muhammad, we know, as men cannot have sexual intercourse with the wife, men can her. Yes. And we know. Wait. We know half Muhammad did that to Aisha, Aisha yeah. and to other wives. Ibn Qatir, Surah 2, 222 confirms that men can fondle the wife while wife is having her parents. Yeah, just keep, just keep, keep going, keep going. Arabic. Don't listen to him, keep going. Surah 2, 223 is, is the first. This is complete nonsense. I am reading it from the Quran. The Quran is complete nonsense. I'm calling the Quran is nonsense. <laughs> You're nonsense.
The Quran the Quran is complete Let nonsense. Me read it for you. As a girl, I'm going to explain it to me. Okay. I'm going to read the verse. She'll read the verse, you. you explain. I want you to explain the verse to me. Your wives are a place of cultivation for you. So come to your place of cultivation however you wish. And put forth for your wives. And fear Allah and know that He will meet him and give him good tidings to the believers. So what is the verse saying? What is the verse saying? Go, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No. No, 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 no. Just read it, read Just read it from there. No, we don't have to show you. Just read it. Sir, Bravo, you know when they took it to your brother, also. Do you know that anal intercourse is not allowed? It's forbidden in Islam? Do you know that? Show me. Sir? No, do you know no, no, we're talking to one person at a time. Sir, can you answer my question? Do you know that anal intercourse is forbidden? It's Bro, we allowed. just read your Quran. Are you going to show us no, what it means? No, no, can you answer no, we, no, 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 no. We've read the Quran. Can you answer this? You've said, you've said, you've said that it's not in your Quran. We've read you your Quran and we've asked you to give us your um, interpretation of your Quran, and now you're diverting to something else. We want to an answer you to your Quran. Are, you are taking things out of you're not serious. I know we're not serious. Can movement. you tell us yeah. the context you're of Surah 2, 220? Explain. Explain. Your wives are filled for you. Explain. You're not explaining. Sir, give us the context. Give us context. Give us the give context. Us the context. Sir, give us the context. You're not serious. Sir, give you, us the context. Are you going to give us the context or not? Yes or no? Give us the context. Give us the context. Don't worry, don't worry. Ignore them, ignore them, ignore them. Okay, well, so, you, yeah, let's continue, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Can, can I ask you one question before you leave? Can I ask you one question? Let me ask you about one question, because you seem reasonable. Do you think it's reasonable or do you think it's fair or just or treating a woman with respect to you got your wife standing next to you? Can you go to your wife for sex anytime you want, whether she feels like it or not? No. But you're, but, you're, but Islam teaches the opposite. Islam teaches the opposite. So, yeah. here is the problem we have. Muslims are telling us Islam respects the woman. I am bringing a verse for you, for you from your own Quran. You don't like what the Quran says. In the Quran, Allah says, Your wives are filled for you. So, so what does that mean to you? It's talking about Trinity. It's talking about Trinity. We're reading it to you. But you don't want to accept it. You know why you don't want to accept it? Because it's embarrassing and shameful for a man to go into a woman anytime he wants. It's shameful. That's why. So I can't do it. Yeah, the verse mentions the tail. The tail interpretation means the vagina, the place of, uh, place of origin. It doesn't mean the anus. Obviously, you're reading in English, you can read in Arabic. I am asking, I'm asking the question. Yeah. Are you Muslim? Yeah, he's a Muslim. Yeah. I'm asking the question. Why unless commanding the husband, are you married? Yes. To you, as a husband, that you can go to your wife, however, why Allah does not give any right to woman that woman can say, I don't want to have sex in a certain place, in a certain way. Because background of the verse, background of the verse, woman doesn't want to have a sex in a certain way. Allah sends this revelation to Muhammad and then says, your wives are killed for you. Go to your field however you want. Yeah. So what is the no, 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 I'm saying, do you understand the context? Yeah, understand? The, co the context isn't um, so much to do with the tilt. The context is that the background story was that um, these men um, from, from Ansar, okay, 
they used to sleep with their women in different ways. Is that the correct, yeah? They used to go over to the back, from the back. Right. They believed right. that person would have a swing. Right. And so this, all right, right, right. Position. And so this story went to Allah, the um, Muhammad, okay? And then Muhammad had to give his advice, or he say on what, um, he had to basically draw a judgment on what they should do. And he said, you know what? You can go to your women in any way you want. Um, you, you, from the bathroom. It doesn't matter if woman bumps so it or not. Yes, till, do you he understand? The vagina in any way that you so, Does that make sense? Here's, here's the problem. That's, That's what, what the tilt means. Here's the problem. Right, right, right. right. Here, the, but, but you see the problem? Go on, go on, she explains it. Here's the problem. The problem is, woman doesn't want to have a sex. She doesn't want to have sex. In a certain way, the way husband wants, okay? Okay. Allah says, woman has no saying on that. You yeah, can have There's a reason. Yeah, because when the woman signs the So you the think nikah, that's all right? No, no, no. When the woman signs the, the, the signature nikah. of marriage contract, yeah. she gives authority to the husband. You she gives contract. authority to the husband that husband can treat her however he wants? No. Yeah, because the thing is, yeah. What? No, let me explain something, yeah? Go on, go on. If I sign a contract to say that you can come to my house and eat, yeah? And you can come to my house and eat any way you want. Then I've signed. So if I can't bring the police and say this guy can't come to my house, because I've signed a contract that you can come and have breakfast. Baba. So just go, go, go. go. So I, I just yeah. need to understand that. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah, Lukman. Lukman. Lukman yeah. So here's the thing. When you so when you married with your wife, okay, brother is married as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the comparison so yeah. that I can understand. Yeah, sure, sure. When you married with your wife, yeah. you pay the dowry, okay, and then you sign the contract of the marriage, okay, nikah. You make the nikah. Yeah. In that form, in that form, is there any place you are verbalizing or you written down that you can use her vagina however and whenever you want? Or is she aware of that? My God, no. Let him answer. Shush. Let him answer. So does she know? Does she know? When you sign the paper of the nikah, that means you can use her vagina however and whenever you want. Okay, do you think that I'm going to put a toilet brush in her vagina? Would that be suiting to the context? I'm not asking that. No, 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 no. Answer the question, Baba. I'm not asking what are you going to put the vagina the on? Okay, so to yeah. use the question. Yeah. There's an appropriate context to that, right? right. Yeah, but doesn't mean in any way whatsoever, shape or form. Right. But do you think it's okay? Listen, listen. You're a married man. I'm a married man. Married for ten years. Yeah. Two children. You got you got children as well. Yes. Do you think it's okay? Okay. If I say I love my wife. Yes. And my wife, maybe she's in pain, or maybe she doesn't feel like for me to go up to school to her and say, you know what? Regardless of how you feel. I'm going to sleep with her. That's no, right, right, right. 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 Do, do, I, do you agree with me on that? So, if she's in pain. Okay. If she's on her menses. If she's having a bad day. If, or if she's having a bad died, day. Okay. Understand. Okay. It doesn't so. Make any sense. Yeah. Right. So. Because so. It precedes the context of consideration and tolerance, right. efficacy, generosity, right, right. fantastic, fantastic, empathy, fantastic. All these things. So, okay. okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're Brilliant. Some sort of a ah, thank you. So we agree on that. Yes. Agree, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are agreeing that you cannot go to your wife whenever you want because sometimes woman has like her father just died she's grieving she's grieving or she's having her wait 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 no no wait let her finish no wait no respectful muslim respectful so you can no no this is disrespectful if your wife is grieving or if your wife is having her monthly period, when she has her monthly period, you can fondle her. It doesn't mean you can have sexual intercourse with her. Let me finish. But you confirm that you need to tolerate certain things. She might have a headache. She might not want to have a sex. But my question to you as Lokman, sir, does the Quran give you that right to woman? Does Allah say, does Allah say, Fake woman to give her consent. Sorry? Does Quran say yeah. fake woman to give her permission? Yes. The does, does, does it specifically say yeah. that the woman has to give, give consent? Give consent, yes. Okay. okay, by definition, yeah, she signed a contract to say I give permission for you to be intimate with me. But everything is context specific. Yeah? Because it doesn't make sense, for example, if you have the right for me to provide for you, yeah? For your lodgings, for your clothes, for your makeup, yeah? 
is it reasonable for you to come on to you know what? I want you to buy the entire company max so I have an unlimited supply of makeup. It's not necessarily reasonable, not in the context that is suggested within the contract, yeah? It's like everything in Islam has a balance, yeah? You can't, the Allah is not, see, what you're trying to understand, you're trying to understand in English. You need to understand in Arabic what Allah he intended in the verse. The verse is not intended to oppress a woman. What did Allah intend? To advise you regarding whether you, where you can go, to the tilt, not to the back package, not to the ear hole, not to make a slit in the body. Your bones are tilted for you. A tilt so how to your tilted as way. you wish. Yes. As you yeah, because at the time in the, the Jews... In the background, in the background, have you already yeah. read the hadith? This woman doesn't want the approach comes from the man. Okay? She doesn't want it says he began to do the same kind of action with her. But she disliked it. Okay? So this is um, Sunnah Abu Dawood. Sunnah Abu Dawood, 2159. Okay? But this tribe of Quraysh used to uncover their women intensely and seek pleasure with them from the front and behind and lie with them on their back. When immigrants came to Medina, a married man. Ma a man married the woman who was one side. He began to do the same kind of thing, okay? Having sex with her from the back, from the front, and from the lion on her back. But she disliked it, and she said to him, he had begun to approach on one side, lying on your back. Do it, but otherwise, keep away from me. I want to have sex with you only one way, which I am used to. If you are not going to do that, okay. keep away from me. Okay, that is the problem. She doesn't want okay. the, the way fair that it, Yeah, so that's fair enough. Here's the solution. Allah and Muhammad puts it. That's my question, okay? Solution is my question. This matter comes to Muhammad. Allah sends down the Quranic verse. Your voice are built for you, so come to your tilt however you will. From the front, from the behind, or from the line on the back. This verse reveal, this verse meant to be the place of the delivery of the child. E -E -E -I, uh, vagina. So, woman doesn't like the way man is approaching her. Allah and Muhammad give the solution. Woman has no saying on that. Husband, you can go to her, you can answer her however you yeah. want. So, she so, understand. So, so, Allah and Muhammad is basically the, this, disregard, yeah, dis disagree with you, but also they're disregarding what the woman wants. So, the woman wants a certain approach, and they're saying it doesn't matter what she wants. All that matters is what you desire, which is I want to come from the front, back, or whatever. Do you understand that? Is the okay. verse only for the woman? Sorry? Is the verse only for the woman in the question? But verse is for men. Yeah, it's for and the man. who's it for? Who's the verse? intended audience of that verse? Let, let, let yeah, you respond. Let, let respond. Yeah, so verse is for men. Verse doesn't support anything doesn't support the woman. Verse is saying, husbands, husbands, you can do however you want to get God enter the your wife. Okay, That's so, what he said. so the context is revealing a verse that says to men, generally speaking, you can come in any direction except for the back package. Mm. Yeah? Mm. But still that's However in the context of the relationship that a person's in. Right. Person. But the, do, do you not do you not grasp this? The woman, the woman does not want a particular approach. Okay. Do you understand? We understand that, but yes. Yeah, but what Allah Muhammad is saying. That's fine. Okay. So you think that's, you think that's fine. fine? Hold on. Do you but think that's fine? Okay. That's not fine? What I'm but saying is that's fine. the revelation is for all of humanity. But, but, it's look. not just for that particular context. It's not just for the individual involved in it or the woman. The revelation then sets a precedent for the whole of humanity. So for the that's whole of lesson, humanity, yeah, for I'm women to realize, woman has no. 
no right to give any permission no, no, no. that her the verse husband say that. can enter her. No, no, no. The verse doesn't say the woman doesn't have any rights whatsoever. We just read it to you. It is, it is, no, how many times did you say the same thing? She said, she said we just read the hadith for you, Sunan Abu Dawood. We just read the woman said, I don't want this. Okay. And a man's, and then Allah's Apostle okay. says, Are you no, you can't have. verse means that she can't say no. Brother, read the verse. That's not what it's saying. In the context, oh. Brother, Allah come on. says, I don't care what the woman is saying. That's not what Allah is saying. Man, Brother, they I, are I can't believe you can't get this. You yeah. can go to them however let me, let me you, get you wish. That's simply, in 2018 language, are you based in England? But it doesn't make any sense. No. What about if she's a listen to my brother? What about if on that day, the reason she wants it in that position is because she's got cystitis and it's sore for her? Brother, brother. It wouldn't make any sense Allah, that you can do whatever you want. He, Allah said, he's not interested. however you wish, you can enter your wife however you wish. Yeah. And in the context That's a general of the statement. Verse, in it's the not context specific of to the, the context. Verse, yeah, you're not woman looking at. Saying, I'm listening. I'm trying to understand what you're. I, I, I don't think you. I don't think. I think you're, you're fighting this. Let me tell you why. Because in Sunan Abu Dawood, have you got have you got the verse? Sunan Abu Dawood. The in the verse in Sunan Abu Dawood is very 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 clear what the context is. The context is it speaks about um, the, the the people of the book, the Jews, and it speaks about the people of Ansa, and, and it says woman didn't like. The way man was having sex Ex with her. Explicitly, it states that. Explicitly, that, she doesn't want to hear. Yeah, she doesn't want okay, it. So okay, so wait, 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 wait. His wife told him, Godwin, I don't want you to have sex with me in this way. Yes. But Allah is saying, oh, Godwin, doesn't matter what she says. You do what you, you want. You can go to her. However you want, do what you want. It is the same. Right. Your wife tells you, yeah. oh my lovely husband, yeah. I am headed today. I don't want you to answer okay, me Okay, so today. the message to the woman planning. is what? What's the message to the woman? Shut up. Accept, accept whatever your husband wants to do. So it's saying... Accept it. That you should try to benefit your husband by allowing him these options, yes? It, no, where did this... <laughs> bro, where... <laughs> are, we, are we reading two okay. different things? No, 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 we're saying, come whichever way you Brother, want. That was, you put a spin. You put a spin on that, didn't you? What we what what what, what, what what is it saying there? It's saying the woman. It's saying the woman is. I don't want it. She's saying it. it's a clear statement. I don't want it. What Allah's apostle is saying um, from Allah is that regardless of whatever the woman wants, you go in how you want. It That's couldn't be more. No, but he says it. You're ad libbing. That oh my god. You know what? The problem that, is that's the problem that's about Islam. It makes you brain dead. No, you can't you can't saying, hear or you can't comprehend. We'll actually speak about it. You wanna okay. speak about it? Right, we'll, we'll, right, let, let's summarize and we'll talk about it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna finish our presentation. So we're, we're gonna come back and talk to you. I'm married, I'm married. In 2018 language, that is called it's called, it's called rape. It's called rape. It's called rape. It's called language. That is called raping your wife and it is not acceptable. Yeah. It is wrong and it is You're wrong. And it is wrong. Okay. However, you do this. We'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah? We're just going to summarize it. It is the same. Yeah. Husband can force himself to his wife. Yeah. However, he wishes. Yeah, yeah. Which not only takes woman being human being, it forces, um, from, it puts woman very, very difficult position. Yeah. And then we all know, if you don't have sex with your wife, then he wants it. All heavenly beings, angels are going to come and curse the sure. wives. Could you, sure, sure, sure. Could you step back slightly? Step back slightly. Out, What's going to happen in a sense when husband can force himself to yeah. her? Yeah. It is unacceptable yeah. and it is disturbing those teachings. Yet we look at this book and we find those teachings yeah. as the divine revelation from Allah yeah. of sex yeah. within marriage should work. Shame, yeah. shame, shame. It is shame. It's a shameful thing. It is it's shame. disturbing. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you want to misinterpret yeah, yeah, yeah. it, yeah. we're going to come down to it. No, 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 no. But what, what I would say is, when you look at. Uh, what, what we do is, if you look at what Jesus taught, if you look at what the apostles taught, or well, the apostle Paul specifically, he says that a woman's body 
belongs to the man and a man's body belongs to a woman. There's equality. Nobody should feel uh, pressurized. Uh, marriage and love is, uh, is uh, sexual intercourse is intimacy between the man and the woman. And what I would encourage Muslims to do is come to a better book with a better solution, with better moral um, uh, moral rights for, for both uh, men and women in marriage. And that book is the Bible. God bless. God bless. Thank you. <laughs>